Hey everybody, it's time for another Mini Mondays, and today I'm going to be talking about Long Live the Royals. Now this is a mini-series that was airing on Cartoon Network from November 29th to December 3rd, I believe. Wow. Uh, it consists of four episodes with a pilot that aired sometime in 2014 that I can't remember. So, originally I was going to do an entire Eye of Saul episode about this mini-series like I did with Over the Garden Wall, but after watching it I thought there's not really m enough material to do a whole review of it. There's only four episodes, and I know Final Fantasy Legend of the Crystals only had four episodes, but there was a lot more to work with there, so I'm just gonna do a mini Mondays about it. So anyway, this mini-series is just about a royal family, uh, so king and queen of an indeterminate region in an indeterminate time period, and their sons and daughters, Rosalind and Peter and Alex, just as they get into various shenanigans, during the Yule hair season. It's kind of strange. But anyway, the most noteworthy thing to say about this is that it's very, very similar to regular show, just in a different sort of period. Kind of, I would say it's more regular show meets Star versus the Forces of Evil, with its whole classism, serfs and royalty kind of thing, and I really like that, because regular show has a really good style to it, and it has the capacity to be very funny, whereas Star vs. the Forces of Evil has the energy, and sort of that kind of odd background where you can feel this sort of uh, unease between the common people and the royal people. I like that, so it's a good combination. I will say that this series is very funny. It had me laughing out loud quite a bit more than I thought it would, actually. I thought the jokes would be like, really like, mm, but actually I was like, oh, laughing out loud quite a bit. Even the pilot had me laughing out loud quite a bit, which doesn't always happen. Usually pilots are less funny. So, yeah, I would say that if you can find this, watch it, because if you like regular show, you'll probably like it. If you like Star vs. the Forces of Evil, you'd like it. It's got a tad of Over the Garden Wall in it, a little bit, just in the atmosphere, kind of, but it, I'd, I'd say it's not as good as Over the Garden Wall, but not a whole lot's as good as Over the Garden Wall, so whatever. Anyway, it's definitely a series that I would love to see continued. I enjoyed the adventures of Rosalind and Peter and Alex. I, I think they all have very good camaraderie together. I could see it getting old, definitely, if they take it in the wrong direction, but if they decide to continue this and make it a full series or another mini-series, something like that, I'd watch it. I I'd definitely watch it at least for a season. I think it's funny, it's got a lot of character to it, and it has the potential to be something really memorable, I think, especially in this age of memorable Cartoon Network shows, I think that it could definitely find a home there, a permanent home. So, yes, if you can find this, I would definitely say watch it. I had a hard time finding it, so, uh, yeah, take that for what you will. But, yeah, if you haven't seen this already, give it a watch if you're a fan of regular show, Star vs. the Force of Evil, Over the Garden Wall, or you just want to see something you haven't seen before and just have a good hearty laugh because it's, it's quite a lot of fun. And that's all I have to say about that.